So I recently got a question from someone asking how to set up a pop-up on a landing page in System.io. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's a really quick and easy process. So once you're inside your System.io account, we'll navigate up the top here to Funnels, and we're going to choose our landing page or our funnel that we want to work on. So if you currently yet haven't got a landing page or a funnel set up and you don't know how to create one, then I'm going to leave a link in the description to two videos. One will show you exactly how to set up a sales funnel step by step, and the other one will show you how to set up a landing page step by step. Also, if you're at the point where you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan of Systems.io, I've left a link in the description below this video where you can get 40% off of the startup plan. So to create our pop-up, the first thing we need to do is select our landing page and we need to go to edit page. And now once you're on the landing page, the next step is to create a pop-up. So in the top left corner, there's a button that says pop-ups. Click on this and you'll see I do already currently have a pop-up set up for this landing page, which is called pop-up number two. So I'm going to create another one just to show you the process. But if you wanted to look at the pop-up I've currently got set up, I can click on this eye icon. And now this is the pop-up that I've got currently made for this landing page. So we're going to get rid of that and come back to the pop-ups section and click on add pop-up. And now here, a default template of a pop-up appears. And you can see it's got a blue button. And now we can start to edit the text, write whatever you want. But then to edit the features of this pop-up, if we click on this little section at the top here, it says edit pop-up settings. And now you see in the left menu bar here, I've got various options. So the first one asks us, do we want to show the close button on the pop-up? So it's currently set to off by default. If I switch that to on, you'll see in the top right corner of this pop-up now, now I've got an exit button that's appeared here. If you want the visitors to have the option to be able to close this pop-up. And you can also set a delay on that exit button appearing here as well if you wanted to. You can switch that on here and then choose how many seconds after pop-up has shown you want that exit button to appear. And you can change the color of the exit button as well. And now the next option here, it's asking us, do we want the pop-up to open automatically? And it's currently on, on, it's currently set to on by default. And I don't like this very much myself because this means as soon as the visitor lands on the landing page, the pop-up appears immediately. That kind of defeats the purpose of setting the button to trigger the pop-up. So I'm going to change that to off. So now that sets it off, this means that when a person visits the landing page, they're not going to see that pop-up until or unless they click that button. Now, alternatively, if you did want that pop-up to appear automatically, regardless if the person clicks the button, you can switch that to on, and then you can change how many seconds you want that to appear afterwards. So if it's set to zero, it will appear immediately as soon as you land on the landing page. If you set it to like, 10 seconds, it'll appear after 10 seconds. But I'm going to switch this back to off. And now the next option here, we have open on exit intent. So this means it's currently switched to off by default, but if I switch this to on, now if a person doesn't click the button, but instead they start to navigate their mouse to the back button, as soon as the system recognizes that the visitor is about to leave, the pop-up will be displayed. So that's called exit intent. So I quite like that myself. So I'm going to leave that on. But what's important to know here is it says, we can't detect exit intent on a mobile device. So this only works on desktop. So do you want to display a pop-up on mobile using a timer? So that is what I would personally recommend. So I'd switch that to adding a times delay on this as well for a mobile device. So let's say we want it to appear after five seconds on mobile device, but on desktop, it would appear only if the person clicks that button. So that's basically how I've got it set up right now. Now, also by default, the pop-up is only going to have the email address form field here for you. But if you want to add more information that you want to collect from your visitors, for example, if you want to add their name, then from the elements section in the left sidebar, you can choose this option here, which is form input. I'm going to drag that across and I'm going to drop it in where I want it. And then I'm going to click the little gear icon on this form. And now where it says input type, here I'm going to select the first person's name. Okay. So now I've got the first person's name and the email address. And now to configure your button, if you click on the button and then the menu options in the left sidebar here will change again. And the first option is asking you action when button clicked. So you want this set to submit the form. So this means that when a person enters the name and email address, clicks this button, it will submit that information to your email list in system.io. And then if you already have an automated follow-up sequence, like an autoresponder set up in place in system.io, then your new subscriber will start to receive your automated follow-up series. Now, if you don't know how to do that, then I've left a link in the description below this video to another short tutorial that will show you exactly how to do that. Now, coming back to the menu options in the left sidebar here, next option is asking us, 
do you want to redirect the user after contact registration? So once they've entered their information here, if you've got a next page in your funnel set up, like a thank you page, for example, and you want to automatically then switch them to that thank you page, what you need to do here is select from the drop down next step in the funnel. Alternatively, if you did not have a next step set up, but instead you want to send them to an external URL, for example, affiliate link or a specific page in your website, for example, then instead you would choose this option, which says custom URL, and then you would enter your URL in this box here. And then when you're happy with your form, click save changes and that's it. You're pretty much done. So that's how easy it is to set up your pop up in system.io. Now, if you need to know how to set up your landing page and connect it to an automated email follow up sequence, then this is the next video you want to watch. Or if you need to know how to set up a full sales funnel, then watch this video here.